Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video, I will tell you how you can protect your data in Excel by locking it through a password. It's very, very simple. I'll show you an example. Now, this is a sheet where I have entered a lot of data. For example, huh? there's not much of a data over here. And I don't want anyone to make changes to it. Like, see, if anybody tries to enter anything, you get a message that the cell or chart you're trying to change is on a protected sheet. Now, to make any kind of changes over here, somebody would have to unprotect it. So that means I have already protected it. Now, how did I do it? So that's very simple to do. It can be done in a few simple steps. So let me first unprotect it. So I go to the review tab, click on unprotect sheet and I applied the password one, two, three. So this is how you unprotect it. Now, how do you protect it? You go to the review tab and you see this option protect sheet. As soon as you get this option, you don't need to bother with anything else. Simply go ahead and select a password of your choice. Like I selected one, two, three in this case, it will ask you to re-enter your password, which is again, one, two, three. As soon as you enter your password, this icon changes to unprotect sheet. Now nobody can go ahead and make a change whatsoever. All right. Now this is so very simple to do. Now there is a next level to it. Now, in case you want that everything should be locked except a few cells, like over here. Now, say for example, instead of Rambo, I want to write Superman. I was able to do this, but I cannot write Superman here or here. Now, how was I able to do that? Now, that's called selective locking. And to do that, we will first have to unprotect the sheet. One, two, three. The sheet is unprotected. Go to the Home tab. Now, Select those cells which you want to keep editable even after locking the rest of the sheet. So I have selected these cells. I want this section to be editable even after I have locked the sheet. So now I will go to this, click on the small arrow and this font tab and go to the protection option. Over here, I will uncheck this logged icon and click OK. Now I'll go to review tab again and protect my sheet. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now the sheet is protected, right? All right. But if I want to type something over here, uh, instead of Superman, my new choice is now say, uh, Spider-Man. Black Widow, Supergirl. Dr. Dang is a, is a famous Indian villain. So let, let's have some famous Western villain. Give me a name. But whenever you find that name, type it over here. Balwan Thrai again is a famous Indian villain. And you can choose to have your own Western villain typed over here. Say, let, let's say Dr. Octo. All right. Mogambo again is a famous Indian villain. And we can have our Western villain again over here. Who do we have? Thor. Thor is a superhero. And we can have Iron Man over here. And instead of a villain, we can have a hero. Who, which hero would that be? That can be the new one, Ant-Man. And then we can have the new guy in town, Deadpool. <laughs> So this is how you do it. I hope you like this video. So until the next video, go ahead to myelesson.org, download this file for practice and keep on practicing it and watch the other videos that are there. So until the next video, this is your guru now signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.